Hi, welcome back to Ethical Hacking. Today we're going to look at a couple of HPing options, which uh, we're mainly going to be concerned with flooding from HPing, some type of denial of service that we can do on another system. Of course, we've got our Windows box here still, and I'm going to go to Task Manager, and I'll bring up the little CPU usage. <laughs> you can see that bringing up the Task Manager spiked it a little bit. We'll look at networking. You can see that this is really empty. We've got 0% utilization on networking right now. Performance, we're running at about 2% performance on the CPU. So if we do this, it'll uh, give us an idea of what's going on. Let's look at HPing. A couple of HPing options. Um, you know what, we won't even go to that one yet. Let's look at this. Let's say we want to attack that server. We really want to go through and try to do a denial of service. We want to flood that, that server. I'm going to pop over here so we can see the IP address of the server. It is 1025-150-99. So I'll go back over here, I'll wait for that to calm back down. And let's do a simple HPing, which we need to sudo these, because we're going to be packet crafting, and we need to sudo to do that kind of stuff. HPing 3 dash dash flood, and then when we type the flood, we're just going to enter the IP address right there of the server, which is not 33, it is 150, 150.99. So I'll press enter, we'll see what happens. Okay, right off the bat, you can see that we have 97% CPU, 100% CPU, and let's flip over to networking, and you can see the networking has really increased as well. Okay, we can see that we've got the utilization still running about 72%. Let's look at a couple of HPing options. I'm going to go back over and I'll kill that HPing flood. As soon as I kill it, if we click on Windows, you'll see that drop right off there. And our performance also, really relaxed back down to 0%, 2%, and networking is at 0%. Let's look at a couple of the options of HPing 3 here. If we look at uh, this paper, I wrote a couple of things that we can use. One is uh, setting the destination port to 80 because we know it's running IIS. We can do a SYN attack on, or just send SYN packets. We can set the SYN flag on. Um, that's actually another exercise. We can do the push flag on there, we can do the urgent flag, we can do the SPU. Uh, v is verbosity, maximum verbosity. We can set random sources with our attack, uh, so it gives us different source addresses. We'll go ahead and try the flood with random source and see if it changes anything. So we'll do the flood, throw in random source, and press enter. Look back over here, and we're running at 72. 61, 74, 70%, same level of network utilization, 75, and the performance is still running about 100%. So, no big change there. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. We'll take out random source, and let's do a port 80. I know that port 80 is open on there, so I'll go ahead and do port 80. You can see network utilization, 74, 69, 65, 71. Uh, we can see the utilization comes up 92, 97. And we can sit here and play back and forth with this. You, this is why you can test it on your PC to see what you like best. And then we've got the dash SPU type option where this is going to be a SYN packet, push, and urgent. Click back over here. We're running about 98. And over here we're running uh, still at 72, 68% around there. So it looks like from our short test here that if we're looking at a flood attack, we're just looking at flooding a system that's on our network and it's connected to us here, we can use HPing's default options for flooding, which let's go back over the windows. Look at windows. We've got our 72% and a performance about 97%. I'll cancel this and go back to the beginning, right there. And you can see we're back at 93 CPU, 92, 93, 95, 93. Networking, we're back at 74, 70, that sort of thing. So when you're using HPing, it does a good job of flooding. It sends a lot of packets out. You can randomize some attacks if you want to. Uh, we don't have it set up right here to see the different IP addresses that are coming by. But we can kind of see that, uh, we can definitely see the utilization change. If I pop over and do a netstat, 
kind of get an idea of foreign connections. We see we don't have any connections. If I change that over, we go back to the port 80 with a couple. Let's see if I, I get any foreign connections there. Nothing there either. So I'm not getting any connections uh, going on on the system. Oop. So nothing there. So as far as HP is concerned, our basic setting for this exercise a dash dash flood will give us a good example of how to do a flood on a system. The next HPing attack is going to be setting a spoof address and then a victim address. So when we spoof something, this is the source address that we're spoofing, this dash A. So we can still do a flood attack with it, uh, but in this case we can't see where it's coming from because I don't have a firewall set up here and I don't have monitoring set up in Windows, so we can't actually see inside of Windows. If I had a Linux box I could just run TCP dump, or if I had Wireshark, I could start that, but I don't, so I'm out of luck on that one. We'll just go ahead and start Task Manager. So let's look at this. Now, I want to attack that host, but I want to pretend I'm coming from a different network. And I'll go ahead and put a dash V on there. Dash capital V is for verbosity. Now I've got maximum verbosity. That just means it's going to show me any messages that come up on the screen. I click over here, I can see my network, network utilization, my performance, and I can cancel that. And I can set a different, different address. Let's see, we're on the 150 network, I think, so I'll just do 151. Now, actually, clobbering two hosts. Um, if we had this going through, we would have this system, which, what we got? Oh, <laughs> I changed the wrong one. There we go, 99, and let's do it right here. 10.25.150.1. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, whoever that was. Um, it's probably our gateway or router here at the school. OK, so there we go. We started the HPing back up. You can see we're running this. Uh, we can go look at our performance, get our performance going. And now this system should be sitting something like a reset packet back over to 10.25.151. So it's going to be resetting back over. The other option we can choose is we can choose random source. I think I did that a little bit earlier. There we go. Yeah, but I didn't set up the uh, yeah, attack. We can set up random source addresses or we can pick a number of addresses to, uh, to attack another host and have that host record our addresses there. That's all for HPing. Um, so I hope that helps out a little bit for our flooding exercise. I'm sorry, that's all for our flooding. Um, if we look at something else a little bit later on, we might look at the low orbit ion cannon or Hulk for a couple more denial of service attack type things. But that should give you an example of how to run HPing in a flooding scenario. Hope you have a great day.